welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be talking about microblading. Um, what it is, I'm going to be showing you my results with it, my experience, and then I actually have a few questions that some people have asked about it. So that's what we're going to be talking about. So I'm going to begin by talking about what microblading is exactly. Um, it was a question that was asked and I feel like it's a great way to start this so y'all can understand what it is really. Um, microblading is a way of semi-permanent makeup by inserting pigment into the top layer of your skin, of your eyebrows, and it pretty much is like a semi-permanent tattoo, meaning it doesn't last forever, it will fade away with time, but it's manually inserted, the pigment is manually inserted into your skin um, with a little small handheld tool that's made up of tiny little needles that they pretty much just drag across to resemble eyebrow hair and it can last anywhere up to a year um, but yeah it's just like a little tattoo um, stay tuned and you will see my results with it but I'm also gonna say that when it comes to microblading and stuff that is permanent on your body it is good to do your research invest your time in it because just like anything out there there is room for error I guess I could say and I only say that because this wasn't my first microblading experience. I was actually microbladed in Florida, but I didn't check the credentials of the girl who did it. And come to find out, the lady who did my most recent microblading told me she actually did it wrong. So she actually punctured way too far into my skin. And I always had like this reddish hue after the pigment kind of faded out. and. I just figured, you know, it would go away, but come to find out, it was actually scarring on my eyebrows, which had to be covered up with this my previous appointment. So definitely do your research, make sure the person that is about to do your microblading has the correct schooling, the credentials, all of that stuff before you put time and money into something that's not done correctly. So, um, I'm going to get to some of these questions, and... Because, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, so it's like a semi-permanent tattoo of pretty much filling in your eyebrows and giving your eyebrows definition um, where it needs to be. I grew up having really thin, overplucked eyebrows, and I was actually made fun of my eyebrows in school, so it was definitely always an insecurity of mine how my eyebrows looked. And I was having to fill them in every single day, so when I found this lady online through Facebook here in Okinawa, Japan, um, her work is amazing, um, it speaks for itself, and I was like, you know what, I'm sick and tired of having to draw these on every single day to feel comfortable to leave the house. So I invested the money to get them redone, and I could not be happier with them. I, I mean, you'll see my before and my after, and the results speak for itself. She did an amazing job. Alright, so some of these questions I have, uh, did it hurt? Yes. Um, it did hurt a little bit. I mean, it is kind of like a little mini tattoo, um, but it wasn't anything I couldn't handle. It was almost like cat scratches on your eyebrows, so, and I think me hearing it, because you do kind of like hear the slicing of it, I think that made it a little more worse. Like, if I wouldn't have heard that, it would have been probably not that bad, but you kind of like, my brain kind of connected the sound with what was happening and so I think that made it a little more painful but it was definitely nothing I could not handle at all. Um, how much did it cost? So when I booked with her I had to put $100 down uh, for a deposit and then I got microblading and shading. Um, so not only did she draw the eyebrow hairs on but she also when she was done took some needles with the pigment on them and kind of like stabbed me a little bit. Uh, to create a shading effect so it made them seem more filled in. So after my appointment I had to pay $350 for that so it was a total of $450 for my new eyebrows. But this goes into the next question, how long does it last? Um, they last anywhere from a year to, I mean they could last up to five years she even said when I asked her because her eyebrows were perfect and I asked her if she did her own she said yes. Um, and I was like, how long have you had them? She had had her eyebrows for three years and she hadn't had to do a touch-up yet. 
And with that being said, it's all about like your aftercare, how well you take care of your eyebrows as far as the healing process. Um, when I was done, she told me to day and night rinse over them with hot water, or not hot, warm I would say, because you don't want to use hot because it's still kind of like an open wound as if it's like a fresh tattoo. So I had to like rinse them with water. She gave me this little jar here full of cream um, to put on to help the healing process. And when I put the cream on, I literally just go over with an eyebrow brush and just brush over them. So I have to do this four to five times a day up until my touch-up appointment, which is in two weeks. So that's another thing, like it did cost $450, but that included my touch-up appointment with her. So you get two appointments within the one price, which is nice. So, I mean, I guess we'll see how long they last, but I mean, $450 to have my eyebrows on for a year or more, like I'm not mad about that at all, because I was getting sick of investing the time to put them on every single day, just to feel good about walking outside, you know what I mean? So. Um, and my last question that I got from someone was, how long does it take? So, it's a very quick and easy appointment. Um, I was there for maybe only like an hour and 20 minutes. She had me scheduled from noon to 1.30, but I actually left before 1.30. I left around like 1.20 and that was, she wasn't microblading me the whole time because when you start she has to take measurements. Um, to get the shape right. She has to color match your eyebrow hair to make sure she's using the right color pigment. So, and then she explained aftercare and of course I paid when I was done as well. So, it definitely did not take the full hour and 20 minutes that I was there. So, it was very, it was a simple, I just laid there while she did my eyebrows and I actually cried after my appointment because of how great they looked. So I'll give you a little close up and then I'm also going to post my results. So stay watching the video. But here's what they look like now. They are a little shiny from the healing ointment being on there. But as you can see they look great. They they match in shape and in size. Um, I do have a little inflammation at the ends but I mean it's just like the healing process with anything else you know it takes time they'll look great I'm happy with them and if you are looking into getting your eyebrows microbladed I highly recommend it but I, like I said before definitely put in the time to make sure the person knows what they're doing check the pictures of their work so you can see how it is and don't be afraid to spend a little bit of money on yourself like you definitely get out of it what you pay to put into it so it's your body it's something that's gonna last a while don't go cheap with it definitely do it right and do it the right way and you'll be happy with the results just like I am so yeah that's all I need to say about microblading um I hope you guys learned a lot I hope if you're looking into getting it done this kind of answered a few things for you but like comment share in case anyone else you know may be interested and definitely hit the subscribe button to stay tuned for more Thank you guys. Bye.